So that's the bioengineered sign you need to look for and everything. And it's on a lot of the stuff in here. Welcome back, I'm glad you're here. If they're new to the channel, we're in 4K today and that's, that's new. So things are only getting better on the channel. Everyone who's subscribed, I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, even before you get some value, just hit the like button. The algorithm sent you here for a reason. Today we're headed to Walmart specifically because all the food that we eat is cheap. Now it doesn't matter if you go to your local grocery store or whatever brand you have in part of the country that you live in. And it doesn't matter, uh, you know, if you go to Costco or whatever, literally everything that you pick up in the grocery section is fake. And by GMO, what I mean is a genetically modified organism. Typically, you're going to find products as corn, vegetable, oil, but you'd be surprised that the majority of stuff that you pick up is all garbage. I started realizing this a couple of months ago and pretty much for the past six months I don't need anything from the grocery store except for seltzer and I know that the cans are lined plastic so that's even bad for me as well. We're gonna get to Walmart, we're gonna go through the aisles, we're gonna pick out items that are fake and I have a bonus item that we'll talk about. If you stick around to the end you'll get to see it. Also, you can just go to the chapters and click on that. We have a cereal, which is, has the bioengineered label on it. And surprisingly, a lot of the donuts and stuff don't, but the cinnamon rolls do. If you're looking to make pumpkin pie for I don't know, Thanksgiving, Halloween. The pumpkin pie is made in China. The pumpkin, the filling in the cans, it's crazy. I'll show you that here. of China. I don't know if you can see that there, but the pumpkin pie is a product of China. I always thought growing up that vegetable oil was made from vegetables, but it's really just a bio-engineered product. Well, that's how it works. Learning. So that's the bioengineered sign you need to look for and everything. And it's on a lot of the stuff in here. We're gonna get out of here before we catch COVID, the least non-invasive way. This one looks scared. Let me check out the Kool-Aid. Corn syrup bioengineered. But it doesn't say it on there. I remember when I was a kid and they found like worms in the Capri Sun. She was crazy. He says busier than I thought. The moral of the story is that a lot of fake food. So we're back and I was gonna talk about soy, but I don't even know where to find that product. In the breakfast aisle. And a lot of things are misleading and it was really, there was a lot of people there. I should go at night and we'll do a night video at some point. It is a little bit of a madhouse there. A lot of moms, people with their kids, who look like grandparents. I couldn't even find the soy. I don't know where that is. And since it was kind of a madhouse, I'm gonna let you know that the meat, the bonus food, but number one, Breakfast, a lot of breakfast is just corn. Corn, corn, corn. 
And in the cereal, it's corn. If it's wheat, it's still ge genetically modified to resist bugs. And you might not think that's good, but that's not what we're meant to eat. You can make the argument that it's not bad for us, but the only reason I think you would do that is because there really isn't enough data to tell us, but the data we have is pretty, pretty conclusive that society is obese right now, super obese and lazy and entitled. Entitled is not something food can do, but it comes from being fat and lazy. As I've mentioned before, when I was super overweight, over a hundred pounds, I always knew that once I got skinny, cause it's hard to get in shape, that it would be in fad or acceptable to be obese. When I was growing up in the eighties, no one was fat. I mean, people were getting fat, right? But it wasn't until the mid nineties that you know, really high fructose, all that crap started getting introduced exclusively into the food source. It seems like since COVID happened that all the food is fake. I remember when the, the meat at the grocery store, I remember when the meat, the smell changed. All right, so we have breakfast. Breakfast, most poor meal of the day, as they like to tell you, but really you can get by most of the day on just drinking coffee. You have your cereals and you have your cinnamon rolls and all of that stuff has corn, bleach this, red number two, white number that, you know, and that is all, not only is it artificial, but it's genetically modified. I'm starting to see that even if it doesn't inexplicably tell you that it's modified, that it has corn and it's all made by the same brand. And you would assume that the brand is using the same supplier, which most of the name I saw was Conagra. So you have corn, you have cereal, you have all the breakfast foods. I don't eat lunch, but if you were eating lunch, let's say what I grew up on was ham and cheese sandwiches, bologna sandwiches, all of that. And this gets to number four. All of that, not only is it processed, but the feed that they're giving the pigs for the ham and the bologna or the, the cheese that you're eating, all of those animals are being fed genetically modified organisms because it's cheaper. Now, when you're trying to get healthy, yes, it's great. You're eating chicken, you're eating rice, or you know maybe you're eating peanut butter, which you should not be doing at all. That's like level one thinking of eating healthy when you really start getting into it and when you want to fast track it, I would say even skip to this point, you want to eat foods that have absolutely no reminiscence of being not from this plant. Because at the end of the day, genetically modified organisms are made in a laboratory. For example, the apple, the apple on Twitter, the apple right here, that apple's about a week old and it's made by a company that bioengineers food where the color doesn't change, but it, it's more than that. It's almost like it turns into a zombie and it doesn't rot. Now, if you got any value out of this video, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe. I appreciate you being here. Namaste.